This is a review of our topics from this week. We have frequency trees, probability and relative frequency, probability trees, and Venn diagrams. So frequency trees. Frequency trees are a way of displaying information that can be split into groups. Here we have a question that says 250 people are surveyed to see if they prefer drink A or drink B. So we're starting with 250 people. 130 are women, the rest are men. So 130 are women. How many are men? So 250 in total. Take away 130. That means 120 are men. 78 out of the 130 people who prefer drink A are men. So 78 men prefer drink A. And 130 people in total prefer A. So well, 130 take away 78 is 52. So 58, 52 women prefer drink A. So let's find these missing ones. So there must be 120 men. We've got 78. How many more do we need? We need... So 22 to make it to 100. We need another 20. So 42. And how many women are missing? So 48 more to get to 100, plus 30, so 78. So that's the frequency tree completed. Now the questions. One of the people is selected at random. Write down the probability they prefer drink A. So how many people prefer drink A? We were told in the question it was 130 people. It's 78 and 52. So 130 people out of how many people in total? That's 250. And we don't have to simplify it. We can just leave it like this. 130 over 250. One of the men is picked at random. Write down the probability they chose drink B. So how many men were there? There were 120. So it's out of 120. How many men chose drink B? 42. So we've got 42 out of 120. And again, we don't have to simplify it. We can leave it like that. Probability and relative frequency. So we've got question one. The probability a spinner will land on red is 0.32. It's spun 200 times, 200 times, estimate the number of times it lands on red. So it's like 32% of the time, it's going to land on red. So we want 32% of 200, which is the same as 32% times 200. So, well, 0 0.32 times 200 is if we times it by 100 we get 32 times it by 2 64 so 64 times question two a spinner can land on one two three or four the probability it lands on four is twice the probability it lands on three so if the probability it lands on three is x the probability of 4 is double that, so 2x. And we know all probabilities of everything that can happen has to add up to one whole. So at the moment, we've got 0 0.41 and 0 0.2, which is 0 0.61. So what's missing? 1 minus 0 0.61. So we've got 61% at the moment. How many more do we need to get to 100%? That is 39, 39%. So X and 2X must add up 
to 0 0.39. So x and 2x must add up to 0 0.39. x and 2x make 3x. So if we divide by 3, we get x is 0 0.13. So the probability of a 3 is 0 0.13. The probability of a 4 is double that, 0 0.26. And a probability tree. So in bag A, there are seven red counters and two blue counters. In bag B, there are six red and five blue. One counter is taken from bag A and one counter is taken from bag B. Complete the tree diagram. So for bag A, we've got bag A first. What's the probability of getting a red? So there are seven red in bag A out of nine in total. So the probability is seven out of nine, seven ninths. The probability of getting a blue in bag A is two ninths, two are blue out of nine in total. And then we look at bag B, it's completely separate to bag A, it's unrelated. So there are six red and five blue. What's the probability of getting a red? So there's six red out of 11 in total, so six elevenths. So the chance of getting a red in bag B is 6 elevenths. It's not affected by if we got a red or a blue from bag A. The probability of getting a blue in bag B is 5 elevenths. There are 5 blue out of 11 in total. So that's our tree diagram completed. Now the question says, find the probability that one counter of each colour is taken. So to find the probabilities now, we times across the branches. So the probability of red then red is 7 ninths times 6 elevenths. So red then red is 42 90 ninths. Red then blue is 7 ninths times 5 elevenths. So 35 90 ninths. Blue then red is 2 ninths times 6 elevenths. So 12 over 99, and blue, blue, 10 ninths times 5 elevenths, 10 over 99. The question said the probability of one of each colour, so it's either red then blue, or blue then red, so 35 out of 99, plus 12 out of 99, is 47 out of 99. And one more question. So we've got the probability of a bus being late is 0 0.2. Complete the tree diagram for Monday and Tuesday. So the probability of it being late is 0 0.2 on any day. So the probability of it being not late is 1 minus 0 0.2 which is 0 0.8. It can either be late or not late. So those probabilities have to add up to a whole. The question says, find the probability it's late on both days. So we times across the branch. So it's 0 0.2 times 0 0.2. 0 0.2 times 0 0.2 is 0 0.04. And if you preferred you could have changed them to fractions and done two tenths times two tenths. You would have got four one hundredths. It's the same thing. And Venn diagrams. So we've got to complete a Venn diagram here. We've got all even numbers. So in our Venn diagram, we're going to put all the even numbers between 1 and 31. In A, in our A circle, are going to be multiples of 3. And our B circle are going to be multiples of 4. So the multiples of 3, that's the 3 times table. 
and we only want the even ones. So that's actually the six times table. So it's going to be 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. And the multiples are 4. They're all even. So 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and 28. So let's see what's in both circles. So what numbers are in multiples of 3 and multiples of 4? So they've both got a 12, so that goes in the middle. And they've both got 24, so that goes in the middle. So what else has A got? We've got 6, 18 and 30. And what else does B have? We've got 4, 8, 16, 20 and 28. Are we missing any numbers? So we wanted all even numbers between 1 and 31. We don't have 2, so that's going to go on the outside. We've got 4, 6, 8. We don't have 10. We've got 12. We don't have a 14. We've got 16, 18, 20. We don't have a 22. We've got 24. We don't have a 26. And we've got 28 and 30. So there should be 15 numbers. Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There are 15 even numbers between 1 and 31. We've got 15 numbers in our Venn diagram. So we should be correct. And the questions. A number is chosen at random. So one of these numbers is picked at random. Find the probability it's in the union of A and B. So the union of A and B means anything in A or in B or in both. Anything inside the circles. So how many numbers are in the circles? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Out of how many in total? 15. We don't have to simplify it. We can leave it as 10 fifteenths. Find the probability it's in the intersection of A and B. So it's in the A circle and the B circle. That's the overlap, the numbers in both circles. And there are two numbers in both circles out of 15 in total. So two fifteenths. So that was our review. There is an assessment now available. The link will be in the description or at the bottom of the page on the website.